It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Melissipat Brewing Company in wonderful, wonderful Finland. And this is their Triple Dry Hot IPA, 7.2% ABV, 330 milliliter Red Bull styled can. Got that wonderful, I think if I was to choose any logo, emblem, and uh, of a brewery, I think it would be this one. That is probably my favourite logo for a brewery. A man with a giant hammer smacking malt. Brilliant. <laughs> um, it's been brewed with Galaxy, Citra, Mosaic, Sabro, and it's 50 IBUs. Looking forward to this one. Let's get the beer. I, no, it's not a. This one's not a collaboration with. It is. This might be a, another pint, please collaboration. We'll talk about those lovely people in a moment. But first of all, let's get the can out into a glass. Oh, and see what we get. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Hazy, hazy, hazy. What do they say in the industry? Haze for days. Look at this. One finger white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's definitely a hazy kind of straw coloured IPA. Looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The body. Now, I've not smelt the beer. I've had a little kind of whiff of the aroma from this distance, this half arm distance. But I've not tasted the beer yet, but I'm rolling this beer around in the glass and I'm thinking, wow, this beer has got some body to it. There's some oats in this beer. Look at the way you've got that lag as you're rolling the beer around in the glass. It's a lag, it's a carbonation struggling to get through that liquid, which shows to me that it's got a really big, thick, creamy, rich body to it. Straw colored, good carbonation. Let's get that aroma then. Wow, wow, that is kind of, if this had Russian River written on the side of the can, and if this come from California, people would be absolutely raving about this beer. The aroma is terrific. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. That is just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It smells so soft as well. Lovely, soft, Finnish water. Gotta get into this one, it smells amazing. Cheers. And the taste, the taste on the beer does not disappoint. It is indeed big, thick, rich and creamy. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows. What an amazing flavour to the beer. You're, you're hit with a combination of, of, of there's two things going on here. There's three things going on here with the beer. Let's start with the less obvious. The less obvious is the soft finish water, which helps to promote the hops. There's no kind of like, if it was hard water, the, the, the beer... You'd, you'd have that kind of Burtonization effect, if you like, where where some of the beers, 
if you use hard water, they, they taste slightly farty. None of that going on here whatsoever. The next thing is the yeast. They've used a terrific, terrific yeast here that's very clean. It's not very estery at all. And again, that's there because in this style of beer, you don't want to be... They, they, they've written the hops on the front of the can. Front and centre of the can for you guys to be able to, to, to read it and enjoy those hops. So they don't want any kind of yeasty, estery kind of flavour to, to impede on these hop flavours, do they? So then you're just left with the hops, really. The malt, of course, is very clean, a light, clean malt, just offering sugar for that wonderful yeast to gobble up and turn into alcohol. So then you're just left with the hops, and that hop flavour is just terrific. Just terrific. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Again, I'm going to say it again. If this beer was in a can from Russian River, California way, people would be raving about it. Absolutely raving about it. It is that good a beer. I've drank over 9,000 beers on this channel. And I can tell you right now that that there is world class beer. World class beer. Great lacing on the glass. Look at the way I roll the beer around in the glass. Look at the way the carbonation is struggling to get through that liquid. Great body to it. Great body. And it's oats galore. You're picking up loads of oats here. My wife cooks, I, I find it really annoying personally, but my wife likes to have oats in the morning and she cooks them on a pan. And if you've ever cleaned oats from a pan afterwards, you're left with this creamy, milky residue that sticks to the side of the pan. And you've got to literally leave, it, leave the pan soaked for hours on end. Well, that creamy, milky residue is actually what gives beer the body on that side of the pan where you've cleaned where you've made your oats that creamy kind of what's stuck to the edge of the pan is what offers the beer its creaminess its richness that's why that's why brewers brew with oats number one it offers a lovely flavor you you do get a lovely oaty reassuring oaty flavor here but at the same time It's all about that fantastic body, that rich, creamy, luscious body to the beer. Melissa Pat, they send us quite a bit of beer, to be honest. I'm always honest. I'm always kind of open. Um, I love this one, but there's been one or two beers in the past. I think I had a, one of those kind of like fruit sour beers which I wasn't really a fan of and you know I was open and honest with it um, even though they send me beer we're always honest on the channel but um, it's nice that um, whenever Melissa Pat brew a batch of beer they send some over to the UK for us to review here on the channel so the description is a triple dry hot IPA pumped full of flavour with Citra Galaxy Mosaic and Sabro hops enjoy extremely fresh and in good company. Fantastic. Nantali, Finland. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.